So even if there are pockets of the Chinese economy that are resilient, as you've mentioned, the property sector is still stuck in the mud. And if the property sector can't bottom, is it going to be difficult for the overall stock market to bottom as well, Hao Hong? Yes, I think that, you know, it's a very reasonable sort of a conclusion, uh, you know, we, we can draw from the past 12 months. As you can see, you know, it, despite all the easing measure, the housing sector failed to respond. Um, and also, you know, even we have a very small rebound in terms of sales growth year on year in December. But overall, you know, the entire year is down like 20 percent uh, uh, property sales. So, you know, it, Many of us, I think, in the market, you know, didn't expect that, you know, the property correction could last for so long, you know, because back then, uh, when you, you go into an economic downturn, the property sector, uh, you know, would respond to stimulus, stimulus and then quickly rebound, you know, after like two to three quarters uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, finding a bottom. But this time around, you know, it seems to us that, you know, the property sector has peaked uh, and, and the long cycle uh, is coming down. So as a result, you know, because of the market is not ready for a long-term correction rather than, you know, they, they're more accustomed to a, a quick rebound uh, according to the past experience, uh, the market is caught off guard. And I think as a result, you know, the confidence uh, and also the, uh, uh, the market response is being hurt, you know, by this lack of uh, preparation. How Hong? You've always been very outspoken about the real estate crisis in China. and The market values your insights. How long is it going to take to resolve China's prolonged property downturn? Yeah, well, if you look at the inventory overhang situation, right, so at this uh, sales rate, uh, it would take about two years to clear all the inventory that is outstanding in the market. And then if you, if you look at the uh, uh, property under construction, right, so we have six billion square meters under construction. You know, at this rate, it would take more than, probably more than 10 years to clear all those uh, uh, housing under construction. So all in all, we, we're talking about multi-years of correction. Uh, so I think that, you know, at, at this juncture, you know, people have to, you know, get used to the idea that, you know, probably takes much longer than expected to clear all the inventories. Uh, then at the same time, you know, one has to find new growth spot, you know, for the economy to go forward instead, instead of just rely on uh, property uh, sector, property investments uh, for economic growth.